photographer, videographer, filmmaker, photographer, YouTuber, videographer, musician, film rapper, guitar YouTuber, player, musician, blogger, writer, guitar player, storyteller, writer, filmmaker, content technology, photographer, story camera, videographer, gig, rapper, guitar, technology, sound, camera, blogger, headphones, gig, writer, blogger, guitar, rapper, maker, sound, guitar, story, headphones, shaker, blogger, 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 and what niche I'm supposed to be in, and what content I'm supposed to be creating. I come up with these words to define myself and not really to put myself in a box, but to put myself among the ranks of other creators and personal branding. This idea that people will care about you because you're you. This idea that your life is entertainment or interesting enough this idea that once you establish a niche, you can then grow and develop a personal brand from. But what happens when you've been on since 08 and you've bounced from music to photos to vlogs to everything under the sun as humans do because that's who we are? What happens then? Oh, I just need a new camera. Oh, I just need new audio equipment or oh, I need better lights, or I need music software, or computer software, or I need that update. I need, I need, I need more gear. Until I see Joe Blow with 50,000 YouTube subscribers and half a million Instagram followers, and all he does is record himself cutting soap on a flip phone. Do I need more gear? It's all a game that I don't want to play. I don't want to play like for like or follow for follow or follow for unfollow or join a pod or a comment group or uh, let's talk about each other's videos on each other's videos group. I don't want to play that game. Oh, I'm a perfectionist. I, I prefer to have everything put exactly in its place and know exactly where it's going. And I have better gear, so I should know better. I, I, can, I can put out better quality videos than Joe Blow with the flip phone. Joe Blow with the flip phone is out here doing the thing and I'm contemplating about my gear. Joe Blow is filming himself cutting the soap and I'm trying to match frame rates. I'm trying to craft a story. I'm trying to put this together. You know, there's just not enough time. 24 hours in a day and seven days in a week are not enough. 365 days are not enough days in a year for me to carve out enough time to create something worth sharing with the world. That may be true. But you find time to do everything else. You find time to sit and read a book or scroll through Facebook or scroll on Twitter or scroll on Instagram and watch YouTube videos and watch movies and watch TV shows and you find time to watch and watch and watch but never time to create. So why aren't you creating? Is it fear? Are you afraid that no one will watch? Are you afraid that they will? Are you afraid of being misunderstood? Why aren't you creating? I don't know. I ask myself this question a lot, and I still don't have an answer. But I am creating. I'm just not sharing. I create for myself. I create for my wife, and then I share my creations that I made for myself with my wife, but not with the rest of the world. 
because it's too overwhelming. I have to create for this platform and that platform and I have to know how to work Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and they're all different and they all have different sizes and they all have different quirks and things about them that make them tick and make you successful on them. It's too much. It's overwhelming. I don't I don't want to play this game. So I don't. I create things. I just don't share them. When I do share, no one is watching. No one pays attention. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there are people watching. Maybe someone out there is watching my video and liking my comment and reading what I have to say on my blog. Maybe someone out there is being inspired or paying attention or watching me or looking up to me. Maybe I should share more. There are people watching. They do care. I will continue to create because I have a story to tell. This is where I'm at. I'm a pro-millennial who believes in the process, and I was born for this.